so we are practicing exercise 1 and study very practicing step 2 of exercise 1 exercise 1 is basically observing the self by the self that is consciousness by the consciousness so the more we are going into further steps of exercise 1 we are now trying to observe the self more closely and also trying to ensure that happiness becomes my innate nature the source of happiness is inside me and i do not have to fetch happiness from outside and for that we can see that we need to awaken to the higher activities of the self and for that for that only we are doing the exercises so in exercise 1 to begin with we started observing the imagination if the imagination was not totally clear to us then we started by observing the object of imagination and then we looked at the thought associated with the object of imagination and then the feeling associated with it and we could see that i basically need to be aware of the feeling in my imagination because that is only deciding my thought and my expectation and going further my behavior my conduct so i have to be aware of my feeling now in the process of being aware of my feeling i may find several issues which we discuss one by one right sometimes people say that they are not able to observe the feeling they are only able to observe the thought sometimes people say that it totally appears blank sometimes people say that i get headache sometimes people try to see the imagination just like a physiochemical entity so all those issues might be there but i suppose now by now we are able to overcome all those issues and we are able to observe the feeling we also said that while observing the feeling we don't try to evaluate it judge it react to it change it impose something okay fix something no just observe you have to enter into that process of self observation that process is enriching okay the outcome will come naturally many times since we are used to live at the level of expectation we start expecting the outcome and then again in place of observing the feeling we are working at the level of expectation it is not leading us anywhere and if the expectation is not being met then we are in contradictions in thoughts and the whole exercise somewhat uh, goes amiss we are not able to focus on what we basically intend to so we have to look at the feeling and we have to enter into the process of observation the more i am into the process i become more and more a pure observer okay without mixing my thoughts without expecting the outcome at the instant i become more and more a pure observer and i am able to appreciate it within me and i can see you know what all feelings i am carrying within how the feelings get triggered how i get into thoughts and get into turmoil if i am not settled at the level of feeling i can observe all this you know so i have just en- got to enrich the process of observation the more i am able to observe myself the more clarity i gain about myself and we'll see that now with this observation gradually your whole imagination starts getting transformed you start getting resolved whenever you get reminded of <clears throat> some incident of the past you are able to very easily resolve yourself whenever you are facing some person some situation you are able to resolve yourself because the resolution has to come essentially at the level of feeling if i am able to transform my feeling i can transform my imagination but if i am not able to transform my feeling and i am only working at the level of thought then i may even spoil the situation this is also there by getting into reaction by getting into judgments by getting into opposition isn't it by getting into preconceived notions of which i am not aware so i have to be aware of my feeling and then we'll go further we we'll go to evaluate it also but in the beginning when i start observing i have to just observe as a pure observer i have to enter into the process of observation and there is nothing like bothering about the time the time is there the more i bother about the time i miss the process okay the moment i start bothering about the time i am no longer observing i am expecting 
while the task is to observe. And if you are able to observe, okay, you'll see that the pace of observation goes up and you are able to save so much of time in other things. For example, you might be wasting two to three hours of time every day because we are not clear of the feeling. So we are in turmoil at the level of thought and then we are feeling exhausted, anxious, unhappy and we are trying to escape from that unhappiness inside and for that we are wasting our time. So we are doing the error on both the ends. When I had to observe, I started expecting outcome. So I could not observe. And when the outcome was not favorable, I became upset and then I had to waste a lot of time doing something or the other. So I have to enter into this process of observation. Okay, this process has to be enriched. This self-exploration is itself my achievement. The rest will follow. So you have to do this consistently. We have to keep on doing this. Then in my observation, I think we are now in a better position to distinguish between desire, thought, and expectation. Desire is the feeling. The thought is the analysis part. Right? And expectation is when I'm trying to taste something, either from each side or outside, I'm trying to taste something. Now we had also said that in addition to this, we can fix a schedule in our daily routine to observe the self at regular intervals, say every four hours. So one example could be like we are practicing in the morning around 6 a.m. So around 10 a.m. I can spend 15 minutes for myself. Then around 2 p.m., then 6 p.m., and then 10 p.m. If I accept this as a task, an important task, I will spare time spending 15 minutes every four hours in a day, like this, spending one hour in a day, observing myself may not be very difficult. Maybe you are going in a bus, you can just observe yourself. You are going in a train, you can just observe yourself. You are sitting in an auto, you can just observe yourself, right? You are there in the office and you do not have any task at the moment. You can just observe yourself. And you will see that this will get carried forward. If you keep on observing yourself every four hours, then the enrichment that you are getting inside, the development of the observation that you are getting inside is being carried forward. Now, you are more subtle in your tasks, in your observation, while you are doing those tasks. Now, you are more conscious, you are more aware, that awareness level goes up. So we can fix it as a schedule also. Okay, Try this and it will be very enriching for you. So if any one of us has been able to fix the schedule and practice it yesterday, you can share in the chat box. If you could observe yourself every four hours, say for 15 minutes, sometimes it can be five minutes if you are busy in something. Sometimes you can have half an hour, one hour to spend with yourself. So, before going to sleep, you can observe closely. While waking up, you can observe closely. While waking up, spend, that I have not added here, but you can spend 15 minutes at least before leaving the bed. Observing yourself. Merely observing yourself. This is something that we can make as a schedule. For example, we fix some schedule, you know, that by this time I'm going to have fruits. By this time I'm going to have tea. By this time I'm going to have snacks. Then I'm going to have lunch, breakfast, dinner. In a similar manner, we can decide that by this time I'm going to be a pure observer. <laughs> yes, why not? I have to be a pure observer at least four times in a day. Yes, this is a doable task. This may sound humorous to uh, just... Uh, listen to this, but this is a doable task. In fact, if you look at it in the tradition, many practices have been set like this, you know, so that you can do something for self exploration. In various traditions, East and West, such kinds of practices have been set. And that is basically to pay attention to the self. Yeah, so the Shekhar is saying that it is happening automatically, yes. But if you fix some schedule, you know, that will help you better. So, 
if you just look at the tradition in our country also many times in a day we try to do something so that we can pay attention to the self or to the existence isn't it so if any observation is there any sharing is there any reflection any question you can raise your hand Okay, let's... So, Bhaiya, sometimes it happens that uh, in my uh, whatever I am uh, observing, um, my, uh, some, uh, sometimes that imagination, thoughts and expectation, all these things are not very distinguishable. I cannot distinguish which is my imagination or what are the thoughts. I am just imagining, imagining and observing something or something memories or something, sometimes virtual things also, which is not happening. But from that, I could not extract it easily that what are exactly my thoughts. Yeah, so you have to do the practice. <laughs> so that's why I said that make a schedule. Try to do this multiple times in a day. Okay, bhaiya. We have discussed this. We have discussed this. Basically, you have to make out your feeling. If you're not able to make out the feeling, the rest will not follow. So try to observe the feeling. Okay. And it's not that you have to distinguish between imagination and thought. What yes. we are saying, you can distinguish between desire and thought. Imagination itself includes thought. So first of all, you have to observe within. You have to look into your imagination. And mm -hmm. then you have to look into the feeling part. And then gradually you will be able to distinguish between the thought and the feeling. You can just see that there is some feeling inside which is occupying me. And that is driving my thoughts. But many times I do not observe the feeling and I get merely driven by the thoughts. If I observe the feeling, I can read my thoughts, what all is going on inside me, what all was going on earlier. And if I'm not aware, what will follow? The moment I sleep, I'm able to be aware of that, that I sleep again. The moment I sleep, I'm not able to see my feeling. Again, the thoughts are carrying me away. You can observe very coolly, very calmly. This is all you know, that you can observe. This is certainly that you can observe. Yes, I am observing, but it is not like that after exactly four hours. It may be much less that <clears throat> I am doing something and after just say 10 to 15 minutes and I was, I think that yes, what I was thinking this time and then I want to uh, evaluate. If, uh, then I want to... Uh, no, no, no. That is a mistake. See, you are observing your thought and then you are trying to evaluate. This will not help. That's why this is step one is very important. Without observing the feeling, if you try to evaluate, you will only be doing something at the level of thought and you are not even evaluating your thought. You are analyzing. This will never help. Mm. So you have to get down to the feeling. Yes, yes. Okay. So First that's why we are spending so much of time saying the same thing again and again because we may miss out the feeling. If you miss out the feeling, then again you are only analyzing and comparing within. It will not help because the transformation has to take place at the level of feeling, not thought. If you're only delving at the level of thought, how will it help you transform? Okay, fine. that means um, in my imagination, I must feel that I am in a confused state or I am in an opposition state. No, no, no. I am not saying that you must feel this. I am saying you observe your feeling. That's all. Yes, yes. Okay, Bhaiya. You have to observe your feeling. See as it is. <coughs> mm -hmm. You don't have to label it as opposition or contradiction or you know, some mm -hmm. favorable thing. No, just observe. Okay, okay, Bhaiya. Okay, you know? Thank you. Try mm -hmm. to do that, yes. Yes. Whatever time it may take, but unless you are able to accomplish this, you will not be able to go for the further steps. Okay, okay. Yeah, it was just my own reflection. By yesterday, I just was going to railway station on the way. There was a lot of uh, heavy rains and uh, heavy traffic was there. And uh, I was going in a four-wheeler. I was uh, The moment there was some blockage in the traffic, I was tensed and uh, I was able to see that... Uh, Mm, uh, both uh, both my legs were uh, trying to one is holding the 
clutch and other is trying to put the exhalation. I know there's a lot of stress within. So the moment I was able to see within, then I was relaxed. Uh, I just uh, said that this is not my state to be, and I'm not helping him in, in, in clearing the traffic. So uh, looking within, it has made so much of relief. I was able to see within that, okay, uh, now I, uh, it's nothing to worry about. I have to wait until unless the traffic clears, then only I can go. So looking within at all the instances, whenever there are disturbance, I think it, it, it is us and uh, uh, there are a lot of relaxation within I, and more comfort. By, that's what I was able to see. So looking within every time, every moment uh, will help uh, to take the situation in a right way and uh, do my own uh, task that can be done so that uh, everything is uh, is mutually fulfilling. So that's what I was able to see. So I just wanted this reflection. Nice, nice, Bia. Energy can be utilized properly. That's what I was able to see. A lot of energy. energy. Yeah, a lot of energy was getting wasted for uh, getting tensed up, but not resulting anything. But the moment when I looked in, I was able to see that so much of settlement was there within. That's what I was able to see very clearly. Very nice, Bia. I have a doubt to ask here. When mm -hmm. you say that we have to check our feelings and then evaluate it, uh, I feel like seeing the thought as being a little easy. I was able to see the imagination, the thought. But tracking the thought, then going on to find out what is the feeling I'm having is taking some time for a particular thought. So at times I'm getting diverted. So instead of going and checking the feeling, it's not just whether I'm having a feeling of relationship or opposition. So in depth, even after finding that, uh, I'm driving into to see if I'm having opposition, why is that? Is that because of the uh, mistrust I have on them? Or is that because of the uh, a lack of affection towards them, something like that. So I was not able to, even if I sit for say, some five minutes, do, um, my evaluation on say, one or two feelings. Is the process correct or I should do any other thing? Uh, do <laughs> you have to observe. So if you're not able to observe the feeling, try to find it out. So whenever you have some thought, look into the purpose. You know, why I am thinking like this. Okay. If you ask yourself why, what is the purpose? Then you are why able to make out the feeling also. Uh, why I am having a thought like this? Yes. Okay. And I feel that it's not going to be continuous if I am going to have a deeper thought on... Uh, what is the feeling I have? Like when, when... You have a deeper thought on feeling. Okay. Deeper thought on feeling will not help. You have to observe the feeling as it is. Again, if you are trying to have a deeper thought on feeling, we will try to articulate the feeling. Again, analyze it. That will not help. Or may help, but it is not the right program. So the right program is to observe the feeling as it is. And doing an evaluation in the sense, so it's not needed to do an analysis. I have to check, just check with my natural acceptance and do the evaluation. If that's yes. Way. Yes. Okay, bye. This is one thing. The other thing is like, I, I'm able to concentrate on my thought only if I close my eyes. So... Start with that. Ah. You can start with that. Close your eyes and then observe. Gradually, when the observation process gets developed, Further, you are able to observe your thought and feeling every time. Okay. Well. Since you are not able to observe the feeling, it mm -hmm. may take some more effort. And once mm -hmm. you start observing your feeling, then you will see that it naturally follows. Okay, All the well. time I am aware of the feeling. I can make out my feeling. Okay. okay and well. if that level of awareness grows, then you will also see that my feelings are also getting transformed. Mm -hmm. So presently, we have to little struggle to observe the feeling because that competence is yet to be developed. But as soon as 
or as our competence gets developed, then we are able to observe the feeling naturally and we are also able to transform the feeling. Okay, Bhaiya. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you so much. Nice, Didi. So Dina Naji is saying that, giving some examples. I am not giving an example here. Otherwise, those examples may again help or make you label the feeling, whether it is opposition or relationship, whether it is harmony or disharmony. So just observe it. Observe within. Look into the purpose of the thought. If you are not able to make out the thought, look into the object of imagination. With that object of imagination, look into the thought. Once you are able to make out the thought, look into the purpose and that will help you make out the feeling. And no need to rush, no need to set some time that within five minutes I should be able to observe. No, just be relaxed, be observant. My giving priority is enough. That if this is an important thing for me. Unless I am able to accomplish this, I'm not going to be happy innately. So this is very important for me. While observing my imagination and uh, object of my imagination, uh, immediately I don't find any kind of thought, desire or expectation, but I can see my feeling. Uh, but to to get some uh, thought, uh, I have to wait some time and uh, a little effort is required for me to see a thought. Means the it may be the recent happenings which has occurred, uh, event-wise or something, it comes to my imagination. But it is many times I can see my feeling directly and I I find it difficult to distinguish between these three desire, thought and expectation. And uh, after that, after some time, then another thought comes, not this, this one thought, the another thought comes. So in that case, in, uh, whether I have to shift to the second one or still cling to the first one and proceed. So these are my two questions. Thank you. So I'll say that again, you know, somewhat you are trying to analyze in a much broader sense. No need to analyze so much, just observe the feeling. Rest will follow. If you again start analyzing, then we'll miss out the observation of the feeling part. And maybe you observe for some time and then you got this outcome. Fine. Continue with the process. Now we are giving some kind of routine here that you can observe every four hours. That is something to begin with. But once you enter into that process, it becomes a continuous process for you. So initially this may happen as you are sharing. At some point of time it may strike you. Oh, yes, this is it. This is my feeling here. For example, you have feeling of fear. And with that feeling of fear, you are thinking so many things. Now, you may be carried away by those thoughts. What will happen to me? What will happen to my family? What will happen to my property? For example, all those things. You are not able to make out that essentially you are having fear inside. If somebody says that, why are you feeling afraid? Then we also say that, yes, yes, I should not be feeling afraid. It means I am somewhat able to make out that this is feeling of fear. But I was not able to see within myself that this is it. Now, if I am able to see that there is a feeling of fear in here inside me, then I can also try to go further and evaluate it. Right? See. And then transform it. So at step one, we are not even saying that, call it a fear. No, just observe. Just observe, you have something inside. That feeling of fear, feeling of opposition, feeling of insecurity, feeling of affection, feeling of uh, compassion, feeling of hatred, whatever could be there. Feeling of getting happiness from sensation, feeling of you know, 
avoiding that sensation all that could be there so when you are able to observe the feeling you are also able to distinguish between desire thought and expectation that this is the feeling part you know then in my thought i am analyzing certain things and in my expectation i am of course selecting that's how i am testing but this will remain as words unless you start observing the feeling this will only remain as words is it okay devi prasanna ji yes is yes. uh, but suppose the uh, the feeling will be there only after the thought or i can see directly the feeling uh, means uh, you can see directly the feeling as your awareness grows and you know, will see that you are always aware of the feeling yes sir there is uh, one feeling in me that is one thing is uh, coming repeatedly that is right program is to observe the feelings without any interruption if we do not put any effort of how our feelings will be transformed into the right direction is the right direction achieved automatically please clarify so first of all we have to observe the feeling then only we can work to transform the feeling <clears throat> we'll see what all it takes to transform the feeling but unless i observe the feeling what will i transform so i may again be doing something at the level of thought and again be carried away by some notions and that will not help so first of all i have to observe for example if you have to cure your body first of all you will make an assessment of the current state of the body isn't it then only you can cure the body then only you can prescribe the medicine for the body so unless you are aware what is the current state of the body how will you cure the body so in step 1 we are only saying that just observe don't do anything additionally like evaluating or trying to change or modify or whatever you know don't try to fix that this is good that is bad or i should not be doing this no, nothing like that just observe this is your current state uh so my doubt is uh, during this uh, if you if you feel uh, uncomfortable with any feelings uh, how to solve it then so what we are saying we can always solve it but to begin with i have to first of all observe my feeling in step 1 without even trying to solve it just observe in step 2 you can evaluate whether it is naturally acceptable to you or not then we will follow the steps or other steps also but to begin with just observe it don't evaluate it don't try to change it don't oppose it okay don't label it just observe be with that feeling for some time let it be there now as we progress through the steps then we are able to also follow the other steps and as we discuss it will become more clear what is to be done next but before observing the feeling if i try to do those steps it will not help then i am trying to do something at the level of thought only i am articulating i am you know analyzing i am doing something or the other i am trying to change myself change the thoughts that will not help so i have to basically become a pure observer and observe my feeling once i am clear about the feeling then i can go further to you know do something about it this is something that we'll discuss further but unless i am clear of the feeling how will i work upon my feeling ji bhai i am observing but at the uh, i'm uh, from the eighth uh, i'm uh, attending this sessions from the eighth batch uh, no i can uh, see that whenever i am observing i can't see observe the another things means what happened with the body or what happened uh, with the other things so is it the correct way observing to myself ji bhaiya the other things with the body and the rest uh, of the world ha huh. nothing uh, will be observed in that uh, time means uh, uh, i am concentrating on what is i am observing there so at that time i am i can't remember anything 
which is surrounded uh, by me or with body what happening with me so uh, uh, that this is the uh, ji bhaiya fine while observing the feeling if you are paying attention to the feeling only and not to any other sensation or anything from outside that is fine you can go with that ji bhaiya ji 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 namaste bhaiya ji namaste bhaiya अब जब हम खुद को ऑब्जर्व करते हैं तो हमने यह महसूस किया है कि केवल ऑब्जर्वेशन का काम नहीं होता है ऑब्जर्वेशन के साथ साथ खुद के साथ सेल्फ कन्वर्सेशन भी होता है जैसे हमारे अंदर फीलिंग ऑफ अपोजिशन है या फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप है तो अगर हम उसको केवल ऑब्जर्व करेंगे तो हमें ना ये फील होगा कि हमारे अंदर फीलिंग ऑफ अपोजिशन है या फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप है जब हम सेल्फ खुद के साथ ही कन्वर्सेशन भी करेंगे कि हमारे साथ अब फीलिंग ऑफ अपोजिशन है या फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप है और ये तय होगा हमारे अंदर की हारमोनी और डिसहारमोनी से लेकिन जब तक हम वो कन्वर्सेशन नहीं कर करेंगे तब तक हमें रियलाइजेशन नहीं होगा कि फीलिंग ऑफ अपोजिशन है या फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप है तो जब मैं ऑब्जर्व करता हूँ तो केवल ऑब्जर्वेशन नहीं होता है हमारे साथ ये कन्वर्सेशन होता है सेल्फ कन्वर्सेशन होता है और उस कन्वर्सेशन से ये रियलाइजेशन होता है कि अब हमारे अंदर फीलिंग ऑफ अपोजिशन है या फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप तो मैं ये कह रहा हूँ कि मैं इस बात में सफल नहीं हो पा रहा हूँ कि केवल मैं ऑब्जर्वेशन ही करूँ सेल्फ का फीलिंग का ऑब्जर्वेशन करूँ क्योंकि उसके साथ हमारा सेल्फ कन्वर्सेशन ही एसोसिएशन होता है और वो कन्वर्सेशन ही हमें रियलाइजेशन देता है कि वेदर आई एम इन दी फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप और फीलिंग इन अपोजिशन कुमार भैया जी देखिए वो आदत है अपनी वो आदत बन गई है एक तो जो अपने आप में कन्वर्सेशन करना है सो वी आर यूज टू एंटर इन टू कन्वर्सेशन विद इन आई एम रिस्पॉन्डिंग इन इंग्लिश भैया बिकॉज अदर्स में सो वी हैव गॉट हैबिचुएटेड टू दैट एंड दैट मे बी अ कॉमन हैबिट वी एंटर लाइक वी स्टार्ट थिंकिंग समथिंग एंड देन वी स्टार्ट कन्वर्सिंग विद इन एंड देन मेनी टाइम्स इट बिकम्स अ काइंड ऑफ हिटेड है ना आर्गुमेंट और हीटेड डिबेट विद इन और इवन आई मे बी चर्निंग द सेम थॉट अगेन एंड अगेन एंड दैट इज वेरी टायरिंग फॉर मी वेरी टैक्सिंग फॉर मी यहाँ पे मैं थोड़ा सा इंटरव्यू करना चाहूंगा कुमार भैया अगर ये हमारा कन्वर्सेशन ना हो तो हमें ये रियलाइजेशन नहीं होगा कि हमारे अंदर फीलिंग ऑफ अपोजिशन है या फीलिंग ऑफ रिलेशनशिप है मतलब हम न्यूट्रल हो जाएंगे हाँ सो प्रजेंटली सिंस वी आर एबल टू ऑब्जर्व ओनली द थॉट एंड नॉट द फीलिंग दैट्स वाई यू हैव टू कंक्लूड द फीलिंग सो द वे यू शेयर यू प्रजेंटली हैव टू गो फ्रॉम थॉट टू फीलिंग बाई आस्किंग द क्वेश्चन वाई और बाई ट्राइंग टू सम वॉट मेक आउट द फीलिंग बिहाइंड द थॉट सो दिस इज योर करेंट लेवल ऑफ डेवलपमेंट बट एज वी गो फर्दर एंड एज वी स्टार्ट एक्सप्लोरिंग एंड ऑब्जर्विंग एज अ प्योर ऑब्जर्वर यू कैन नेचुरली ऑब्जर्व द फीलिंग it's not that i have to conclude the feeling from the thought presently this may be our state but gradually you have to move us to a state where we can directly observe the feeling and you can be able to see that the feeling is always clear to me you can come to that kind of stage also that the feeling is always clear to you presently we are not able to observe the feeling that's why you have to do so much of effort to observe the feeling by analyzing by concluding by asking some question within by articulating because we are not uh, uh, observing the feeling directly that's why we have to work so much but gradually if you try to do step 1 and you know, rightly then you can be in a better position to observe the feeling and if you are able to observe the feeling then you can go further and evaluate and then help to transform इसका मतलब तो अभी हम ठीक से स्टार्ट भी नहीं कर पाए कुमार भैया कोई बात नहीं कोई हड़बड़ी नहीं है मैं वही कर रहा हूँ डोंट फिक्स एनी टाइम कि है ना अभी इतने समय में इतना काम हो जाना है नहीं दैट विल अगेन लीड टू एक्सपेक्टिंग द आउटकम फर्स्ट विदाउट मेकिंग एफर्ट सो आई टू मेक दैट एफर्ट आई टू एंटर इन दैट प्रोसेस ऑफ प्योर ऑब्जर्वेशन इट मे टेक टाइम इट मे टेक Days it may take months, it may take years. That is possible. <laughs> so, so like Kumar Bhaiya, uh, uh, you are able to uh, feel this. That yes, you are not able to accomplish this. Those who are not trying to observe, 
they may remain ignorant of the feeling for years together. The whole life may pass like that. That is possible. But once you are into the process, gradually start developing. See, I am the seen and I am the seer. So what is going to stop me? Only I am stopping myself because of my own preconceived notions, some preconditionings, and some wrong priorities set in my life. Otherwise, there is no issue as such. Fine, dear. So nothing to hurry, nothing to worry. No hurry. <laughs> okay. Just enter to the process. Repeat फिर कर सकते हैं for the sake of repetition कि हम कैसे observe करें हम कैसे observe करें फिर बस बल्कि observe आपको करना है तो इसलिए हमने कहा कि इसको ऐसे शुरू करें कि start by observing the object of imagination what you are thinking about right so for example when you pay attention to the imagination you may get reminded of a friend so the friend becomes the object of imagination and then you start thinking what all happened with the friend yesterday. So this is something that you are doing at the level of thought. Right. And then you can also make out what feeling I was having when I was there with my friend yesterday. What feeling was there? Is it, was it a feeling of affection or something else? Was it a feeling of relationship or something else? But that will do later. So just try to see that if a thought is there, a feeling must be there. There must be a feeling which was driving my thought. So I have to look into it. I have to make it out. That's all. It's the analysis so, only. Uh, so whenever I express, I will analyze. Otherwise, how will I say that? What is the feeling inside you? So I am analyzing to help you observe. Okay. okay That's why okay. I am saying that ultimately you have to observe. I can only be a help at the level of analysis. And I can hint at your feeling. Essentially, you have to observe. I can only hint. Okay, Bhaiya? Okay, Bhaiya. We have directions. We have to work in this way. Yes, absolutely. Do not observe it. Do not do it. Just see it. Do not do it. And do not do it. And do not do it. This is my work. If we give it a priority, we will not see it. We will not see it. We will not see it. बढ़िया भैया ओके थैंक यू भैया सो इन स्टेप वन वी ऑब्जर्व द फीलिंग एज इट इज इन स्टेप टू वी ट्राई टू वैल्यूएट वेदर द फीलिंग इज एक्सेप्टेबल टू मी नेचुरली और नॉट एंड इन स्टेप थ्री वी आर इवेल्युएटिंग द करेंट स्टेट ऑफ माइंड सो आई एम इवेल्युएटिंग द इम्पैक्ट ऑफ माई फीलिंग थॉट एट दिस मोमेंट ऑन माई स्टेट ऑफ बींग विद दिस फीलिंग एम माई कम्फर्टेबल विद इन और अनकम्फर्टेबल विद इन Am I in a state of harmony within or in contradiction within? Am I in a state of happiness or in a state of unhappiness within? So this is something that we can make out. Sometimes you will see that even though you are not able to observe the feeling, you can make out whether you are comfortable or not. But if I am able to observe the feeling and then make this out, <clears throat> then I can work better to transform myself. Because at the level of thought also, we can make out that, yes, I'm not comfortable. But if I'm able to observe the feeling and then make out this, then I can work better to transform my feeling. So in step three, what we are saying now, evaluate your overall state. Are you comfortable inside or in uncomfortable? Is it a state of happiness, harmony, or something else? Okay. Now this is in line with step two. If it is harmony, it is naturally acceptable to you and you would like to continue with that. <coughs> if it is disharmony, it is not acceptable to you naturally. Right? And you will not like to continue with that. So that will happen. So you will see that the moment you are doing step 3, you are also able to accomplish step 3. It is only a matter of awareness. So we are doing both the steps, step two and three, because many times people are not able to make out the naturally acceptable feeling or not able to make out whether the feeling is naturally acceptable or not. So by looking at the current state also, we can make out. 
so within a day you can observe at many moments in the day whether you are comfortable or not if you are sitting in your office and then somebody enters your office just by looking at that person you may become uncomfortable you are you know, sitting and you get a phone call and by looking at the contact number you become uncomfortable you are thinking about something and something enters into your imagination you become uncomfortable you are reading a newspaper and some article you see and you become uncomfortable so many times by getting information from outside we become uncomfortable and now even though i am not getting the information from outside there are so many things in my imagination which keep on making me comfortable or uncomfortable unhappy or happy so we keep on entering into the state of harmony or disharmony so observe it hello abhaya i have observed uh, when you uh, sit and observe uh, i could see my feelings and uh, i could see uh, like you tell no your object um, uh, the content goes to some persons uh, means i am thinking of my husband or my friend like that like that it goes and i can see that feeling of uh, that uh, relatedness calmness uh, when i am observing myself but in the actual practice when i am see Uh, yesterday two things happened i talked with my husband as well as fr uh, friend uh, both had the habit of telling the same thing repeatedly many times so i <laughs> get repeat i get <laughs> irritated right so i will tell them i understood no need to tell so that time i can see i am going into opposition with both of them many times it happens but when i sit and think uh, when i'm observing uh, like no you told no every uh, four hours you observe when i'm observing then uh, that opposition is not coming but uh, when i'm conversing that opposition feeling comes and i tell at I, i react and then after sometimes i realize it after i reacting back i realize it i have uh, uh, reacted because of this but uh, that keeps on coming by i don't know why yeah and that irritation is also a feeling so maybe you're not feeling opposed but the moment you remember you feel irritated uh in so the uh, in while feeling. while observing i'm i don't know i'm not because this is i understood this is the thing why i I'm, i'm getting irritated but in the actual practice i am not able to stop that reaction yeah so no need to stop that reaction in fact if you do the right evaluation there you will not feel irritated you are ready proactively that yes now this person is used to say the same thing and again again so maybe when this happens uh you can try to point it out that yes we have already discussed about it and uh, there is no need to discuss it further there will be some people who start discussing on one topic and move to so many topics which are irrelevant so those all conditionings might be there in us so to begin with we can interact and then we can just accept in the beginning but gradually when we are conversing time and again then we can help the person also evaluate that there is no need to repeat the same thing again and again or there is no need to talk about things which are not relevant to the point so all those things could be there and we can help the other evaluate also that yes so essentially when i have the feeling of trust i have the feeling of respect i always try to be complimentary in place of getting irritated or opposed i can make the program for complementarity i can see that after conversing for one or two times i can see that okay this person is habituated to this so what program do i have to make for this person if the person is not ready to accept my proposal then i would be ready proactively that yes now this person is going to say the same thing 10 times so i am ready for that can help the other also explore no with the feeling but of relation repeatedly telling by yeah but same thing happens every time yeah but you'll see now see if you are telling that repeatedly he also might be feeling that <laughs> now uh, she is used to say the same thing and again and again which is clear to me <laughs> <laughs> so in place of repeating this again and again we can see why this person feels like saying the same thing again and again maybe 
he has a feeling that if I say this only for once, the other person may not remember or may not get clarity. So that's why this person is trying to say the same thing again and again. There is some conditioning in the other. If I can make it out, then I can talk about that conditioning. Why do you feel that a person cannot remember by saying things once? Then you say that, okay, I told this you know, so many times earlier, you forgot. That's why I have to tell this again and again. So we can now appreciate why this person is repeating the same thing. Now you just see, if you let anybody come to the morning session and not listen to the whole thing, just listen you know, for a few minutes. He will say that this person is repeating the same thing every day. There is nothing new in his uh, words. The way I am repeating from my side, the other person may also feel the same way. That we are just repeating the same thing again and again, batch by batch. Every month we are doing the same thing. What is there so enriching in this? But why are we repeating this? If you look at this exercise, to bring us closer to you know, our observation. We, are, we can be observing more closely. That's why we are repeating. So the other person also might have this kind of feeling that unless I say the same thing again and again, the other person may miss out certain things. If I'm able to look into the feeling of the other person, then I can help the other person also get resolved. Otherwise, that irritation would be there. Opposition would be there. That's why I feel that that feeling is, uh, I've observed, uh, the feeling I have with these two persons is mostly opposition. That's why I think I'm getting irritated. Uh, yes. But yesterday, I observed with my mother-in-law and mother, uh, even if they tell something bad also, I don't get irritated because I think I get, I have that feeling of relatedness uh, because yes. of that, uh, that's what I feel. And uh, But by a morning session, I never, I think I am in the sixth or seventh uh, batch I am at repeating, but I never felt it is repeated. Even the content are the same. Each uh, In each time we go, we are exploring and we are understanding more. And our exploration is getting better and better. And the participants' questions also makes us more exploration. Uh, whenever I felt like what you tell some, when you talk to some people, they will tell that, uh, like you tell, no, it is being repeated the same thing. <laughs> Since they are not uh, exploring, I can understand. Yes, yeah. yes, very so, Yeah, nice really. So many times we see that, and it is a common observation that. We have a different level of expectation with the spouse, isn't it? If that expectation is not met, so many times we feel that you know, uh, irritated or angry or opposed. We have a different kind of expectation with the mother. We are somewhat more compassionate towards mother, but not towards the spouse, because you feel that yes. this person should have at least this much of competence. Good morning, to all. I need a separate room for this analysis. You have already told. Uh, uh, observe four hours on every four hours per day to observe our feelings. But uh, environmental not give that facility. I need a separate room for this. How to in the routine work is it possible? I don't think we need a separate room. Sitting in a bus, sitting in a car, sitting in train, you know, being in the crowd, standing in the queue. Every time you can observe. But the external force disturbs me. How can I handle it? Yeah, so it means there is some irritation inside me about the external you know, things. Maybe people or the rest of nature. So observe it. No need to negate it. If you are feeling disturbed, observe that disturbance. Yes, I am getting disturbed. I am getting irritated. I am getting anxious. I am getting opposed. I am getting frustrated. I'm getting depressed. Observe it. Okay. Thank you. Oh, one more thing, Bhaiya. Yeah, if I want to attend this program, I am able to get in the 5.30 morning. I need a cell phone alarm to wake up me around 5.15. Is it the correct way? Yes, yes fine. Yes, of course, is required. Yeah. See, now if you decide your time for sleeping, you will naturally you know, uh, wake up in the morning. So, for example, if you require seven hours of sleep, then sleep by 10, 10 p.m. 
after seven hours you will naturally wake up without any alarm also so it's not the issue of waking up on time basically it's the issue of sleeping on time and deciding how much time i require for sleeping yes thank you so generally what we try to do we try to set the time for waking up but we miss out the time for sleeping if you fix the time for sleeping you will wake up naturally okay thank you nice bhaiya let me mention that i still used to sleep for 10 hours but rest of the 14 hours used to utilize very productively whatever he was into so the time for which we are awake if we utilize that time properly you know working for self exploration and participation participating in the larger order then our time for waking up is also better utilized and time for sleeping is also better utilized uh bhaiya mera ek uh, concern hai ya kuch aap uh, bol sakte hai ki there is some concern about the others the situation i will just narrate it within one minute so yesterday there were the one parent has came along with his son that is the uh, the problem was to taking a decision for admission to either engineering or maybe some other parent decision is different father decision specifically and son decision is different and son's result if you look it is not so good what i observed it seat ranking if i specifically to say it is about 2 lakhs but the problem is here the student want to study in bangalore the father don't want to send it to bangalore and i could see the feeling of the son and feeling of the father so under these situations how to decide even by the external person who is suggesting or how to decide from the parent side how we can take the decision bhaiya under this situation by looking into the purpose so if the son wants to come to bangalore for study we can ask why do you want to come to bangalore and if the father doesn't want to send him to bangalore we can ask the father also why don't you want to send him to bangalore and let us listen into their aspirations and concerns at some point of time we can clearly see the difference maybe this i uh, noticed to bhaiya purpose i noticed to bhaiya mm-hmm. the father is concerned with the money how much he has to spend there but student don't want to study in the local colleges he has some aspiration he want to go in a good engineering college and he want to earn money the purposes are different father purpose is just to become a good person and be it in a uh, concerned place like where he is where he can monitor him so this is the purpose hoga dono ka aisa mujhe laga yes so they have different perspectives about a happy life yeah so yeah, but we need to work on that perspective we have to work for the right understanding which the opportunity might not be there when they were coming for counseling to you but you can see the need for it isn't it and you can also propose that see if you want clarity then we have some workshops you can invite the father you can ask the son to evening workshop whenever we are conducting so that is also a possibility but maybe a distant possibility at the moment but you can see that essentially you have to explore now if I, if you have to resolve the situation then you can say to the son that okay your father is not able to support you financially then you can go for some loans or you can go for scholarship that possibility is there and the father is concerned whether after studying in bangalore you will be able to take care of himself or uh, your own family or your native area or not how will you meet that concern so we can look into the feeling the concerns of both the persons and then try to address both the concerns simultaneously that how we can be complementary you have aspiration of becoming a rich person the father has aspiration of making you a nice person yeah, yeah. So can a rich person be nice or a, can a nice person be rich 
so what is the richness which is required to be accomplished so how how would you make out the need for money how do you make out the need for physical facility so we can discuss all this at length also in if, if, uh, the, if you look at the workshop what we are doing essentially we are trying to explore all these issues we have multiple aspirations and concerns and then we try to resolve them our basic aspiration is happiness that also in continuity and our concern is you know our participation in the larger order of universal human order so if i am clear about my aspiration and concern i can address them so you have to look into the time and opportunity where it can be rightly addressed but at least i can resolve with it that yes i have the solution only that with limitation of time not able to propose it you can do you can conclude for today we we'll take the assignment from here and then we'll do it today but try to see if you can make this kind of routine and try to observe yourself every 4 hours even you can reduce it 2 hours 1 hour but at least 4 hours nice so we can conclude today bhaiya yeah.